All right, and Coach, this is your first year at KSU. You were, yes. You were here in Atlanta uh, working with the Falcons. Uh, what was it that they got you to, to go to KSU? I think uh, I felt the good Lord pushing me in this direction, frankly, and uh, what really took it over the top uh, was the school president, President Brown, and our athletic director, Etienne Thomas, and visiting with them uh, about their long-term vision for the program and their commitment to excellence and throughout the student athlete experience and I think you know when uh, push came to shove I recognized the challenge uh, Kentucky State hasn't been very successful so before my arrival you know one in 16 in the last 17 games and just long term uh, haven't had the success that they wanted and for me it was a challenge the challenge to come in and build something from the ground up um, to come in and establish a positive legacy, a legacy that will leave, you know, obviously wins on the football field, but likewise wins off the football field, meaning young men that are productive members of society, uh, of society, and, and that will ultimately uh, be uh, leaders throughout our community. And you're an Air Force man, right? Sure, uh, United States Air Force Academy grad. Yes. And I was listening to you talk. First time I've ever heard you. I just I can hear the discipline. That oh seems like it'll be a, a, a big thing with you. No question, no question. That's uh, the Air Force Academy and that experience and my experience as an officer in the United States military. That's just part of who I am, part of my DNA, um, and that just follows me wherever I go. Uh, certainly, my. Uh, mother and, and father and uh, my upbringing, that's part of it as well, but I certainly don't run from that uh, military experience in my background. Uh, being an NFL coach doesn't mean you have a magic wand, but it, it has to have some benefit coming down to the college level. No question. Um, you know, a, a lot of people uh, said at least initially, and I had to uh, make sure I corrected them immediately because you think, you know, here comes an NFL coach and you can snap your fingers and all of a sudden, um, you know, production is going to happen. There is no substitute for the grind, as I tell our guys all the time. Um, there is no substitute for the work ethic, the tenacity, and the adaptive capacity that's needed to be successful. Uh, I do think that it helps in that uh, having my experience, uh, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, um, you know, that brings there's a sense of credibility that I have. Um, I was with the Green Bay Packers when we drafted Aaron Rodgers, and I was with the Seattle Seahawks when we drafted Russell Wilson. So uh, that helps uh, from an X's and O's perspective, obviously being around some of the uh, greatest minds uh, in the history of pro and college football. That helps. Uh, certainly um, uh, it helps with recruiting uh, when you know that a young man uh, values your background and he thinks that uh, you're able to um, bring uh, and teach him the qualities that will take him over the edge and possibly make an NFL combine or uh, get invited to an NFL camp or roster. All right, tell me position again. All right, tell me about your, your new coach and I would imagine, uh, at least so far, it's been pretty cool. Uh, you know, it's, once he came in, he was, he was strict of what he wants. You know, he's all about winning and, you know, developing mindsets of players that also want to win, you know. Um, he's very uh, particular about what he wants, and that's how it should be as a head football coach. And, you know, I'm looking forward to how he's going to lead us. All right. You can't have a thoroughbred without some thoroughbreds up front. Now, look, with my own eyes, I have seen Kentucky State in – the SIAC championship game so the fans know that it's possible everybody has, has seen them get close uh, what would it mean to you for Kentucky State to get back and and to get it done uh, it'll mean a lot especially going like coach said one in 17 in the last one in 16 in the last 17 games it'll mean a lot to be able to uh, not just get to the championship to, to win it because that's what that's what the goal is right now all right, tell me about, uh, you, you haven't played any games for your coach yet, but, but you've been a, you've seen a little taste of his system. Uh, tell me about the discipline. He, he can't hear you. <laughs> uh, it's very disciplined. Uh, he very particular on what he wants. Uh, brought in the coaching staff that's very particular as well. Uh, take it down to even the first step on a, on a double team on a block. Uh, they're very particular, and that's the small stuff that coach preaches that's going to help us and get us over the edge. Coach, tell me what the, the cleanup process is like when you have to break bad habits or get things the way you want them to be. Well, you have to recognize that it's a long-term process. And just like, um, you know, you've heard, probably heard the statement, Rome wasn't built overnight, and that's just a fact. So while we're patient with young men, we have to train them on the minute details. And after you train them, it's space repetition. 
getting to the point where it is actually performed without thinking. And that comes with work ethic, that comes with time, and that comes with commitment. And tell me about you. You know, in the NFL, all you got to worry about is football. Sure. In college, there's, there's a lot of other things that happen off the field that, that are uh, you're responsible for under your watch. Sure. Well, from an academic perspective, from an NCAA compliance perspective, uh, certainly from a recruiting perspective, these are things that you generally don't have to worry about uh, You know, in the NFL. Uh, you're kind of at the mercy of the NFL draft order when it comes to selecting players uh, in the league. Well, here we're able to go out and select particular guys that we think will be a fit to our program and be a fit to Kentucky State University. Uh, I've been all around the country uh, doing great things. I've been blessed to uh, you know, I started off at UCLA as a volunteer there. So I've gone from uh, Los Angeles, California to Atlanta, Georgia to Logan, Utah, to Green Bay, Wisconsin, to Denver, Colorado, to Frankfort, Kentucky. So uh, both NFL uh, and college experience and having worked at the NCAA National Headquarters. So I feel good about um, my background and what I'm able to bring to the table. So I feel like I have the breadth of experience to uh, be able to um, uh, lead the program in so many different areas. And there's a comfort zone having that uh, vast array of experience. Thank you, fellas. Thank you.